Hey everyone, welcome back to TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX. Simon Sedek with me again as Blank Tester. Mm-hmm, it's a me. Yes. So, we're picking Fuzzy Hall again, and now we're jumping into the medium version of the vert level. You know, it's last time we were in the mall, and now it looks like, you know, we're going to open up into maybe kind of like a parking lot area. Mm. So again... More points, MTV logo, collect some of those sprockets, and then you got uh, some level-specific challenges. Hmm. I got people down front saying... Nice. I'm still... Yeah. I like <laughs> the timing on that crash and the music. Yeah. I, I do have to say, you know, I said in one of the first few videos that it, like, picked a different song for each level, and I'm just getting made a fool of. You know, in my first, like, two playthroughs that was the case... But in this recorded one, it's just picking the same three or four, you know, one out of three or four tracks over and over. Huh. Like, I don't know. It, it, it was picking different stuff in um, the uh, my first playthrough. But anyways, I gotta ask, did you see it? Uh-uh. Because we've already missed how to get to the next part of the level. What? This is one where I rode around for fucking forever, wondering what to do. When right in front of you, but kind of muted... There's a red part of the rail you can grind. What? And, yeah, there's a switch there. It's colored red, but if you take off to go right around immediately, you're probably going to ride past it. And... Oof. Yeah, I, I... Here's where I'm kind of stuck. Because when you explain what to do, it sounds so easy. You know, when you start the level, grind the rail to your right and hit the switch. Like, in five seconds, I just saved you guys genuinely, like, 40 minutes that I wasted riding around. Yeah. Like, it sounds dumb. Like, it sounds like I'm dumb. It sounds like I'm that one guy trying to play the Cuphead tutorial. <laughs> dumb. But, like, I have to defend myself. I did not see that. Yeah, I didn't see it either. And I think it's so... And I wouldn't have expected it so, either close to you at the start and it's so sudden that you're not really expecting it yeah like maybe if you saw like a wire leading to the wall that you're that goes away and then like the other end of the wire continues to like a panel that you have to hit like i'd get that but like i'm not expecting a red what was that it was just like a like a, a handrail yeah not even yeah. like a not even like a full handrail, it was just like a part of the wall. It looked like just some scenery. Yeah, so, I don't know, I could try and defend myself. It's up to you if I sound stupid or not. <sighs> but I swear that I didn't see it and I, you know, that's, I'm probably not the only person I have trouble with that. Yeah. So, yeah, but once you do grind the switch, you open up that gate that's right in front of you. I mean, it's right in front of you. And then there's an area with some, you know, like, that bowl, and, uh, there's kind of the balls you ha you have to jump up and hit. Oh, like, I mean, I'm getting all fucking flustered now, apologizing for myself. Um, but if you turn to the left, then you can go into the parking garage, and you saw the MTV logo is in there, and a bunch of the sprockets are in there, and about all those cars that you have to grind on are in there. Hmm. Um... And I, I don't know, though, when we get in there again, why is it so cluttered? Why is it so full of obstacles? Like, why did they not think about ease of riding around? It seems like parts of this game, they thought about it like, this is a game level, and then let's kind of shoehorn a reason for it to exist in. Like, like this bowl right here in the middle of, like, nobody would ever put a bowl there, you yeah. know? Nobody would ever put a bowl anywhere other than a skate park. But, like, some other parts of the level seem like they were trying to just make it a realistic... Like, this looks like it could be a real yeah, uh, parking there's lot. Like, there's, like, handrails in your way that yeah. stop you from just riding straight. There's these cars kind of scattered about that you got to do some weird amalgamation of hitting them or grinding them. Sometimes it's finicky. And it seems uh, like there's not really a straight line through it. Yeah, there's like just there's shit in the way. Right fucking there. And anyway. then there's a thing. Yeah. Like, interact with this. There. There. So <laughs> you finally weird. did it. 
That was a weird miss. I want yeah, yeah, I mean... Cool. I like how they have one smash sound effect that they change the pitch to. Yeah. Like, one is a little deeper than the other. Well, I hear um, the engine could only handle... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, you know, the one. Versions from one sound effect. Uh, another thing that kind of led to me not seeing the Switch is that the 8 Sprocket Challenge, there's exactly 8 Sprockets in the part of the level that is open to you from the start. Oh. So, that again kind of fooled me to think, I need there's... to do it that way. But, I mean, of course, in the game's defense, there's no cars, there's no, you know, none of those gold globes you need to smash in mm. the main part of the level. So, there is always something telling you, you need to find the next part of the area. Right. It's just the actual method. I don't know. But I mean, it's like, not a, it's this, weird. This is the more the I think about it, the weirder yeah. it gets, because it's like... If they're gonna make it really obvious, like by putting the way in right at the beginning, yeah. it's not a secret. But at the same time, they did obscure it a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. I think the they tried to make it easier by putting you closer to it, but that actually makes it harder. Yeah, the the developers thought it was obvious. Yeah. That's all we could say. This is such a perfect example. And the next level has another perfect example. Uh, so join us next time when we go to the medium version of the dirt environment.